Welcome back, beautiful people. It is a pleasure, as always, to have on another athlete that goes to Central Connecticut State University, three-time All-Conference, NEC champion on the cross-country team, Jan Carlos Diaz. How we doing, brother? Doing good, bro. How you been? Hey, I'm doing good, man. Appreciate you asking. I don't get that question asked enough, but whenever it is asked, I always appreciate it. Um, so let's start from the beginning. I got you. Obviously. You're a runner. That's what yes. you do. Yes, sir. That's what I do, man. Um, How did it all start? What made you want to start running? Huh. Well, long story short, my mom forced me to, like, run because of what? I had, like, I got to focus better because I had, like, ADHD. Yeah. So, like, help me, like, focus on, like, academics and stuff. So, I feel like, hey, let's do exercise and let's see how that goes. And then, you know what? My mom said, you're going to do a cross-country team. Okay, bet. I got you. Yeah? Yeah, I wasn't. Let me tell you. I was shit when I did when I was even running like really? I, didn't, I didn't really take it seriously when I was like in middle school. High school it was like uh ninth grade. I didn't really take it seriously, but I was just getting mad at like that everybody was else was just faster than me and I got and I think I was thinking about quitting like the first week cuz I didn't do summer training because at the time I didn't hold up. I didn't had like this right here. No. I, I had a flip phone mm. and no one had my number. So And what grade was that? Uh, that was ninth grade. And that's where you started running, you'd say? Well, no. Seventh grade mainly, but I can go as far back as like eight years old, but yeah. I don't really, I'm not going to count that because I didn't really take it that seriously at right. that time. What was your original mile time that you could remember when you first started? <sighs> to be honest, it was probably slow. I don't, I don't really It's always slow that. for everybody. What is it now? My mile time is four minutes and 18 seconds. God bless you. <laughs> Four minutes and 18 seconds. Dude, you could probably run two miles, maybe even two and a half miles before I could run one. That is nuts. Hey, man. Hey, man. Don't. Dude, that's incredible. <laughs> Your heart's probably going always. Doo -doo, doo -doo. No, no, no. Well, mine. That's probably mine. Your heartbeat <laughs> is probably so cool as a cucumber. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah. I mean, it's it's it takes a lot of practice, honestly. You just yeah. have to like get comfortable with it and have fun with it. That's mainly what I do. Word? Just have fun with it. Yeah, what man. What do you think is the key to locking in and being able to control your breath and, and, and keeping a moderate pace? Just like don't think about anything, man. I just think about going float with the flow. I just think I'm a dog. I can do it. <laughs> Shit, I wish I could think that way. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so back when you were in high school, yep. if you were to compare yourself then to yourself now, what are some differences if you can think of any? Probably my form. My form was completely shit. This is how I were in like... It doesn't even like, need to be as a runner, just in general oh. as a person. Well, but that's, that's person, good too. I think, maturity, like I think maturity would be one of them. I was so immature in high, in high school. Like, Word. I can act like immature from time to time, but I'm not as like immature as in high school. I was like... Pretty wild kid, but I had like good friends to say the least. But yeah, I think maturity is one of them. Also, like academics too. I could take. I was wanted to take seriously too because I didn't really take seriously, even though I do perform well. But I feel like I could have done perform a lot better. Did you know what you wanted to be in high school? At first, no. But I want originally when I did like so in my high school we did like academies. So there's like STEM, EPSA. There's like a fuck ton of others but i don't remember any other ones but if i chose epsa because i want to do like policing and stuff but then going as i kept going as i was growing older i realized i didn't think i want to do policing i want to do like victim advocacy mm. yeah so what led you to ccsu and when did you know you wanted to go to college so i kind of wanted to college well i wanted to go to college like sophomore year i just realized i don't want to be like there's two things i could take my talents like somewhere else big and better but then i just didn't want to like work for, for the rest of my li life just yeah. that i want to start off somewhere and do it i didn't want to go to community college either because i feel i feel like i'm not gonna, i'm gonna waste all my athletic abilities from high school and mm. not progress any further so i kind of want to it was sophomore year to say the least and um and I chose, I kind of chose Central because it was like cheaper and it was closer to home. But it was like, I had other offers too from like University of Hartford, Stony Brook. University. And did you get these offers from because of cross country or was this just? Well, I think it was cross grades. country. Well, there were, well, I would just say, I shouldn't say offers. They're more like letters, like to come and visit our campuses, which I did. I found some of them good, but I feel like Central was the best fit for me. The other schools I was looking at was U Hart, Stony Brook. URI, New Hampshire. Wow. And 
I was thinking about looking at Sacred Heart at one point. Mm. What year did you graduate high school? I graduated in 2019. Did you? Oh, yeah. so we graduated. Okay, so we went. We came into Central at the same time. Yes, sir. So breakdown. So when is cross? Okay, so you do cross country, but yeah. do you also Hold do on. all the other track programs at I, Central? I do. I do indoor and outdoor. Okay. What do you do for indoor and what do you do besides cross country for outdoor? Well, indoor, I do sometimes. I for what I did this year, I did a five thousand and three thousand. That's five thousand is like three is like twenty five something laps. Jeez. Yeah, three thousand is like. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember my head. I think fifteen laps. How did you do in those? For the most part, PR. I broke fifteen minutes in the five thousand. I ran eight thirty. 30s in like the 3,000. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that's incredible. Yeah. Um. So when you first came to Central, mm -hmm. were you already recruited to, to the cross-country team or did you have to earn your way, like try out? I was, recruit I was recruited to cross-country team. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I had to, but I had to like make my means, obviously, like trying to get up there with the other guys because at that time I was in the program for the school. Cause I didn't get fully accepted right away, so I had to do like an educational program. But they, but the program didn't let me uh, train like regularly. They made me do like I had to do like treadmill runs like three miles a week, and that Shoo! it was not good. No, and it was not. I need a my I need a mileage, and that's when I noticed like God, I was like God damn, I'm like out of shape. So then yeah, August came around. August when we were done with that, I did. I went to Puerto Rico, and I went shout out Puerto with, Rico, man. Shout out. <laughs> Uh, so I went there and I trained up in the mountains for like a good, like few weeks. Training in the mountains of Puerto Rico is crazy. Yeah. Man. No, no, <laughs> ain't those, nobody else doing that. Let me tell you, those hills ain't, jo ain't a joke, bro. Yeah. They ain't no joke. So I had to do that. Then I, when it came down to the time trial, I made it into the spot because I had this certain time to make it in. Hell yeah. Yep. So when you came to Central in the fall, mm -hmm. were you already... So you, were you already on the team then? Like, were you already doing stuff for the team? Like, is that what cross country season is? Yeah, I was already on a team. I was basically on preseason role already. Word. Yeah. So, fast forward, mm -hmm. spring of twenty twenty. Yeah. Tell us your story and experience of what it was like for you when everything went down at Central and what happened, what you did during twenty twenty. Because everyone oh, has their own oh, story. Oh, oh. Nobody has a chance to 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 you know share their piece about it. Oh fuck! So, so uh, well, yeah, what do you, what do you remember from when we were all told to go home and all that? Oh, bro, I remember that day. I was supposed to go to philosophy class at that time. Really? Yeah, I was in bed. I was just relaxing, watching YouTube after like Logan Paul versus KSI happened. Crazy. That that happened like 2019 before COVID. So I was watching a replay of that. Then I just went. I was gonna go to class, and one of my teammates. He was in the class too. He told me go back. We had to go back. I'm like, why, 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 why? Because someone has COVID apparently from the school. So, I'm like, so you were at home when this? No, 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 no. I was in. I was on campus. I was living up in Seth North Hall. Oh, okay. So you were in the dorm. Okay. Yeah. So I looked. So I then he told me that I was like, oh shit, really? And everybody, <laughs> I see everybody panicking, like, oh my god, someone has COVID. It's entered here. This and that. Yeah. And then I and the crazy part is I had to call my dad. And he was in work at the, at working in time. He was like, wait, what? I have to pick you up right now. He's like, yeah, yeah, you have to pick me up. They're telling, they're kicking me out. They're kicking me out already wow. because of that. Did you lose anything in your dorms? Thank God, really no. You had to pack everything up. Uh, I was able to pack up most of my stuff by my Xbox I left behind. No, yeah, I was. I, you can't leave that behind, bro, bro, bro. I'm, I'm ancient. <laughs> I'm ancient, bro. You want to know what it is? I have an Xbox 360. Oh, so I, I goaded system. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's the goaded, bro. But good thing no one damaged that shit because <laughs> they damaged it to my TV. No. Yeah. They damn no. the people who are moving that. Dude, why who were these movers? Somebody that movers if you're, don't know if you're if you're from Central and you know who they were, who tell me who they were because everyone no, the movers every, the movers didn't sus no movers. shit. Because everybody was losing their shit from the movers, bro. Everybody was moving their shit and they lost it. Just, I don't know what to tell you. They definitely took it. <laughs> Oh no! I bet I bet you they did, bro. hundred percent. They must have stole like two. If they stole my Xbox, oh, I'm gonna throw fists. Yeah, right. Um, so when you had to go home, mm -hmm. what was your experience like at home? Like when you had to stay inside all that time, or whatever you did. Like what? I what mean, it was what kind were you of, doing? Honestly, it was kind of boring. Word. I just wanted to go out more, but I was. Yeah, I wanted to hang out with my friends. My mom, my parents were like, 
no, nah, it's like COVID. You gotta be careful who you hang out with, this yeah. and that. So I was like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll make sure. But I'm pretty sure they don't have COVID, so I think we'll be fine. Mm. Yeah. When you um, when you were home, did you make any personal strides or any goals in terms of running, in terms of setting PRs? Like, did you? Just hunker down and say, okay, this is my plan. This is what I'm going to do. Because uh, if nothing's going on now, might as well get better for any upcoming things yeah. that I might be in. Well, in that time, it was not, we didn't really have like a scheduled plan because everybody, because the athletics were just canceled that year. So we didn't have any plans. So I didn't really train for anything. I, I was like, I was just bored at the point. Like, why am I running at this point if I'm, if I'm not training for the season? I'm just going to relax. Yeah. But I did kind of have like a few goals. I was pacing with my old teammates who runs for Southern Connecticut now. Uh, this time we were, I was running with him, and I helped him in that time trial with a five k, with the five k. So, yeah, I can have. I didn't really have much goals in mind. I was just thinking about just like just trying to stay fit. Whenever you're running against any other schools, mm-hmm. do you ever talk trash to them as you're running? Like, Th- I, like, do like, do do runners talk trash? Do they talk like shit? side by side yeah. type shit? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Well, what, what kind of things are possibly said? Uh, like, like, I, how do you run? How do you run past somebody that's probably in the same shape as you? You're like, look at you, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it was NEC. So the when you said about like winning championships earlier, like yeah. backtracking to that. So it was at that time, like when we were going to like up, to, we're gonna go up to the hill the second time. This guy tried to slow us down. I was like, yo, pass this motherfucker. He's he's dying. <laughs> Crazy. We told him we won that. Because of that shit. Yeah. So, what? How does a championship match work when it comes to? And is that, are they called matches? Are they called meets? What? What, what do you call well, those? Because I know there's track meets. Track meets are meets. Yeah. Yeah. But Champ- what? What cross country? Oh yeah. Same they're still thing? the same thing. Okay. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So when? So when you won the champ, was that for cross country? Oh yeah. So how did that build up happen? So tell me the story of the that season and how it builds up to that moment. <laughs> so were you guys ex- expecting to make? chip that year oh yeah yeah we, sure, always, sure we, always, always, we always do that yeah i'm always and, I, and win I, it. I heard i mean i don't know too much but i heard oh. you guys are really good so no yeah, yeah, yeah we we are but it's kind of it's kind of hard to struggle when you got like guys that are having like foreign like guys recruiting from like what england france yeah spain australia going against us so wow. we're, we're like we're guys built from like ct or even like guys from like new york new jersey pennsylvania that's where we formed, but Jeez. but the way when you asked me about the Tim Shelby build up, so our build up was from it went from our it was kind of like one of our recruiting class. We had a really good freshman, very good freshman, who came into our school, and he was like right behind me and the other guy to at the times so or ahead of me us at two at times. So we had him and we had to do a. Tra- so we had to do time trial, and I feel like our training during the summer, we just took it very seriously. And we had a guy transfer from Bonaventure, too, and he was taking the training very seriously, too. Mm-hmm. And we built it up from there. We did the time trial. We did the mountain. We do what we call Meriden Mountain Run. So basically, we run from a campus from New Bern all the way down to, like, you know, uh, Castle Hill up in Meriden. Have you ever heard of that? Castle Hill. I don't know about Castle Hill. Do you run? You don't run to the mall, do you? No, 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 no. I think a little past that, but it's like a, it's a place that, I don't know, how you, I don't know how you. Is it past? So is it past the, the? You know where the Iwo Jima Memorial is? Yeah. Is it, you know how you get onto the highway? Yeah. Go that way. Uh, we don't go through there directly. Yeah, obviously, yeah. But we go through kind of like through that path. We usually go from like New Britain, then we go through Berlin, then we go to Meriden next. And do you have to run all the way back? No, thank God, no. Do you get you get picked up when you're done? Yeah, no, that that's it. That shit was an awful idea. Oh my it god! Run that. Yeah, it was like nineteen months. I always wondered that. I remember asking cross country mm-hmm. uh, people back in high school. Mm-hmm. I said, "What the hell happens if you go to a neighborhood and you're like I'm tired as hell? I ain't got no phone. You just go to the to the person's door, like the house. Nah. They say you're running in a neighborhood. Someone, like, hey, I need to call my coach. <laughs> someone, someone did that once and they got lost, and then Crazy. they transferred out the next day. How do you know where to run when you have, when you have a cross country meet? Are there cones? All yeah, I mean, the there's thing. cones there. There's cones there. Yeah. But back to what I was saying. Like, yes. Merit. So, Maris, we won that meet against our rival team. And it was good. I was like, okay. Who's the rival team? Wagner College. Wagner, hold that L. Crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. And 
then next to me was Ted Owens, and I uh, I came in third on me with wow. my friend, my teammate, so that's my friend winning it, and that Weiner kid did beat me in there, so I was like, okay, okay, okay. third is crazy though. Third is third was good. It was a good day, and then we how, had, how fast? How much? How, when did the other two finish before you? Mm. What what was your time and what were their times? Do you remember? Mine was like twenty six oh eight. It's an eight k, so it's like kind of like almost five miles. Oh, yeah. Oh. It got faster this year, though. You ran... Oh, what? Mm-hmm. Where's it at now? 25, 16, or 15. You're going five miles in 25 minutes? Yeah. I mean, have you seen the Manchester Road Race? I know of it. Oh, yeah. I ran... Uh, it's not full five miles, but I ran 23, 46, and I converted that. That's like 24 minutes and 57 seconds. <laughs> you can run mm-hmm. five miles mm-hmm. in about one One Piece episode. Yeah, basically, a whole fucking filler. I can't believe that. <laughs> but I'd be, I, 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 like, I'd be I'd be dying by the second mile. I, you, five miles, bro. I, 20... I torture I torture my body to do this, man. That's incredible. I torture my body to do this, bro. But look at you. That's incredible. Yeah. Do you have any advice when it comes to someone trying to get into the market? Like, if you were to tell me how mm. how to get my like, where do I start and how do I eventually work my way up? Would like, I wouldn't do? focus on mileage mainly. I just focus on, like, the time. Like, just put 10 minutes a day of running or 20 minutes if you want to go for, like, a mile. Go for, like, 20 minutes, man. That's, just jog that's around like, the neighborhood? Yeah, just jog around the neighborhood. See if you like it or not. Or what if I don't, but I keep going? That's not, I mean, but why would I ever like it? <laughs> I mean, if I'd you hate want, it. I mean, I mean, if you want to get, like, say, if you want to get, like, fit and stuff, yeah, hell you, yeah. I think I think you want to do that. Right. I think that's, like, one of the good ways to get cardio. Yeah. Is that your personal? I mean, obviously that's what you do. Yeah. But is that is that what you normally do? If you're like, I right, let's say, because do you also lift? Ah, uh, time, to, to, time, time to time, time to time. Yeah. Yeah, your case is a little different. Yeah. But I wonder. Hmm. I wonder how you, well, how you would go about it though. It'd be so easy for you. You're like, oh yeah, I got to do a ten minute cardio after. That's the easy part. Yeah. The lifting part might be the hard part for you. I mean, it depends, depends what on what you're doing, obviously. It depends on what, you do, what I'm doing, but sometimes lift can be hard, especially doing core, which I'm going to tell you, my core is shit. Right. I mean, there's yeah. a lot. Huh. This is Everyone's yeah. core, my core is terrible. So, back to back to the chip. Uh-huh. So, day of day of the... Championship. The chip. Yep. What was going through your mind, and what what was your goal, besides winning, obviously? Like, what Did you have that, that time I in didn't mind? Ha- I didn't have it. I don't have no time in mind. I just dare say I'm here to fucking win. I want to do it for one of my old teammates because it was his last year for cross. Wow. So I was like, we got to get him this ring. Like, there's no there's no ifs, ands, or buts. This is now or never. Wow. We're not going to go. We're not going to have, like, another year to do this again. And this was back in 2021? Oh, yeah. Are you a better runner now than you were then? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Damn, so you're a seasoned vet now, huh? Yes, sir. Crazy. Been at it for too long. Do you graduate this spring? I do graduate this spring, but I'm trying to do a master's degree here. Nice. Would you be able to stay on the team if that's the case? Yeah. Wow. Of course. Look at you. Mm-hmm. Able to keep going. Yes, sir. So what's your major? I'm what are you a, doing now? I'm a criminology major, and I'm a, hist- a minor in history. What do you want it to be? Do you know? Victim advocate as of now. Victim av- advocate. Yes. Tell me more about that. It's basically helping victims of like sexual assault. And wow. Like, yeah. What's the reason you wanted to do that? I realized that even while he has being a cop, it could pay more. But I feel like helping people is what matters most. And pe- I feel like people, like these types of crimes that are happening right now, especially here, especially like what happens like UConn campus when people are like mm. doing that, saying like, oh, sexual assault is this and that. They don't do anything. I feel like, yeah, that's the truth of behind that. Like there's like under reportings going on there, especially with male sexual assault too. Like you have like high suicide rates because of that. Did something personal ever happen to you to make you want to do this, or did it? Did I, it just bother seeing the news all the time and hearing stories? Just I think here, I point? think looking to one of my classes one day maybe realized I wanted to try this now. Like, really, I feel like yeah, because there's like a bunch of that that we no one reports. It's like, you know, there's like twenty, like twenty eight percent of them are like false. There's like a sixty five percent of sexual assaults happen and they don't get reported. Wow, it's like a high statistic. Have you had to personally already step into that field and help anybody? Because when you uh, say victim yeah. advocacy, like, tell me what exactly it is. Besides, obviously, helping the person. Yeah. How are you helping them? What exactly well, are you doing? Well, I give them, I cope with them. I tell them, like, everything's going to be okay. We're going to try. Is this, do... is this, 
at like right after something like that were to happen? Or is yeah, it, so they go I, to the station? Is it well? How, how does they can f- do. They can go to the station and report it to the police, but they can also, if they want to report it, let's say they got like assaulted, they can go to the hospital and get like a kit done. It's like twelve steps to doing it, right? And, such. and then I'm there to just keep them comfort, and afterwards I get them whatever they need, and then I have to depart and report it back to like my supervisor. So you're kind of like a teddy bear, basically. You're getting paid to be a teddy bear. Yeah. That doesn't sound bad at all. I mean, yeah. obviously it's horrible. It is horrible, it is horrible. circumstances. Horrible, horrible circumstances. Mm-hmm. But you're getting paid to be a teddy bear. Yeah, I am getting paid to be a teddy bear, but it's not. It's not a joke. It's actually. Yeah. Very, it's very serious. For sure. So you're going for your masters. Are you yes. doubling down in crim at Central, or what do you? Yeah, I think that's masters? why I'm. I think I'm doing that. Yeah, like criminal justice. Are you possibly going to get a job on campus or anything, or what? What are you going to do for that? I think I might go back to the in, the place I was interested me and see if I can get part time. Where was that at? Uh, Women's and Family Center in Meriden, Connecticut. Oh, yeah. look at that. That's very nice. Very good. Very good group of people. I like. Uh, I know we talked about this a little bit beforehand. Mm-hmm. You're an anime. Yeah. Would you say so? Would you say so? <laughs> In like what regards you're saying? What, are, are you an anime? Yes or no? Yeah, I'm an anime. I'm an anime. I am. I, am, I like my Dragon Ball Z Super. Is that is that it? You just no, I watched guy? some Naruto. I watched some Demon Slayer a bit. And I watched uh, Castlevania on Nef- the Netflix one. Never saw it, but I didn't it's see fire. Demon Slayer. It's I'm, fire. The, the new season of Demon Slayer is coming I need, out soon. I need to keep watching it because I haven't had you time. You need to keep watching. I know. I've seen my friend so many like sword fighting stuff in there. Dude, just like, go to <sighs> shout out. Shout out to the wreck, but go on a treadmill and, or whatever and just pop off Netflix. Pop on Netflix. I will. I will. I might have to. I might have to, man. Um, do you have is is DBC your favorite out of all of them? Oh yeah, because I got hooked up to one. It's like a great storyline. It's like the father of anime. First of all, what's your what's your favorite arc in DBC? <sighs> I'm trying to think. I think. I'm going to say the Majin Buu arc. It was probably my favorite. Do you have a favorite character? Piccolo. Piccolo? Piccolo. Shout out to Piccolo. What you know about Piccolo? <laughs> Super Namekian, boy. Un- Super Namekian. People underestimate this man. People yeah, under- go, go on your Piccolo rant. Why, why, why Piccolo? Let me hear you. This man got... This man's like serious. He's serious about his, his training and shit, you know? He's serious about his training. What you know about... Yo, go go train. You already tried to go train seriously, mm-hmm. nah. But that's that's awesome. Yeah, I feel like, I don't think people truly understand how influential Dragon Ball Z can be in someone's no, life. Oh yeah, no, everybody like people. I've seen videos on like Instagram or like I don't have TikTok, but I've, my friends send me TikTok reels and people just get jacked because Goku over here like jacked. They're always lifting and training shit. And, and yeah. also I see these videos where Goku says, "Go stop eating the couch. Go train now." They yeah, 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 I've seen, I've seen those. those. I'm like, bro. Yeah, that's going to get you motivated. Even if you're hearing Goku and Vegeta tell you to train, train. Have you... Mm-hmm. All right, all right, let me let me get your thoughts on this. Okay. Because my because you said super. Did, I'm assuming you saw all of it, right? I saw all of it, yeah. So, and try, I'll try not to spoil anything. Mm-hmm. But my friends, or what a, a friend of mine was saying, mm-hmm. he doesn't think DBZ is as good as what people think it is. And even though he's a huge fan... Because he gets mad how every time there's a new villain, unless Goku goes all out, he can't beat him. What's the point of that? Like, because it kind of ruins the point of regular Super Saiyans, and it, it doesn't I mean, make him feel as special anymore. I mean, if you remember I, Goku when he went Super Saiyan for the first time? Yeah, you know yeah. How special that was. That was special. And now I, it's like he's, he just goes straight to blue. He just skips everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, there's no. If you're not using like what you don't even he really even uses Super Saiyan three anymore. No, because he's, he's got the power of God now, so he's chilling. Yeah, he can just do that. I mean, I've seen some new manga chapters too. They got he uses Ultra Instinct like hella. He's like spam like spamming that. Does he? Yeah, I mean he kind of spams that because he's going because I don't know if you yeah, don't, read, spoil, don't, don't spoil. I know. Oh, you haven't read the manga. No, I don't yet. read. I don't read. Oh. I don't read manga. Well, that's like the only way gonna keep up with it because I don't nah, see no, and I don't see no season two coming out for Dragon Ball Super anytime soon. Well, it's gonna come out though, but I don't know when. I know it's gonna come out though, but we, you do don't we know, know what. Now, but the thing is, I don't like spoilers. I know, I know, is, I know. It looks great. It looks. Great. It looks great. It looks great both ways. But the thing, and obviously, you want to know as soon as you can get your hands on it. But my thing is, 
I would rather wait and it's a surprise and I don't know what's going to come next mm. rather than, it's, oh, I remember reading about this. Yeah, oh, and yeah, I know what's yeah, coming yeah, next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My I, friend, because I watched One Piece. I don't know if you've seen it. I'm all I've ca- seen a little bit of it. Yeah. I'm all caught up on One Piece. I'm not going to watch all of them. Yeah, no, nah, that's I'm, too much. I'm all caught up on One Piece and my friend knows what's going to happen weeks, months from now probably. And I'm still watching episode to episode, week to week. But he knows everything that's going to happen. I'm like, dude, you have, you have nothing to look forward to. You just have, you're just looking forward to the graphics. You're not looking forward to knowing what's going to happen next. Mm. Right? You see what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. That's just me. But I respect margaritas. I mean, no, no, no. Whatever, you know, whatever. I mean, I just, I just watch it on YouTube. That's basically, right. I don't, I don't really read it, read it. I right. just, well, I just let someone read it for me. Do you like reading in general? Do you ever read? I've read when I was like younger, but I haven't read in like a long time. But I do. I did. There was one book I liked. That was Lord of the Rings. Really? Yeah. You know, I've never seen those movies. Those movies are. I've seen a lot of movies, but I've never seen Lord of the those Rings. Those movies are long. Bilbo Baggins. Yes, sir. Dude. Gandalf the Great. Yes, sir. But let me tell you, those movies, they are amazing. They are amazing, yeah. but they are very long. That room. So I'm assuming you've seen The Hobbit as well, right? Of course, man. Yeah. I you've have to. Everything. I've yeah, seen everything. have to. What about Star Wars? I've seen Star, Star Wars. Wars. I've seen Star Wars. Yeah. I've seen The Mandalorian. You all caught up on it? Yeah. I haven't, watched, I haven't watched season three yet. Don't spoil anything. I won't. I won't. Because I can't. I can't. It's not, it's not bad, though. It's not bad. People are, like, I, I see, like, reviews, like, on it, like, IGN says, oh, yeah, well... I don't like this thing, but then one one episode in there, like, oh, I love this thing. <laughs> right. And I'm like, make up your mind, man. Yeah. So, no. Right now we are a month away from graduation. Yes, sir. You nervous? Nah. No. No. You ready to be done? Well, you're you're done, but you're not because you're trying. I'm to not. I'm answers. done, but I'm not done yet. I gotta make sure I get more rings coming up. You know. Mm. I want those rings, baby. You gotta get the jewelry. I got to get all them. the only got, only got one right here. Is most of the team returning? Or is there yes. a lot of people leaving? Yes. Yes. Most of the team is returning, except for two of my, two of the girls on my team that are going to be leaving. Yeah? Yeah. So, I don't know if you do your scouting. What about the other schools? Are they are they going to be staying, staying uh, hot? Or well, are they Well, they the college team, for the other college, well. Wagner is losing. I know some Wagner's losing some of their runners. Oh, so you know you do your scouting, huh? I know it's not me do, scouting. It's more like some of my teams have been scouting them. Crazy. I was like, okay. I mean, I just know the fact that some of them are going to be leaving, so that might be a better chance for us. You know, how how would you rate your central experience from what you've you've been a part of so so far? I'd say I give it like an eight, a solid eight, eight out of ten. Yeah. What's the reason behind that? Well, I like the campus and like the, the environment and stuff because it's like all classes are like close together and I love the team as well. But the dining hall is kind of where it goes. Yeah, which well, I'm, I'm assuming you're speaking about Mem, right? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, have you been to Hilltop? I've been to Hilltop. I, lo- I actually enjoy it, but it's not where it used to be. Like, if you remember like freshman year when Hilltop was actually like kind of like operating like Memorial, it was special. It was it was a really special. But didn't they open it back up? They did, but you have to like you only get one meal a day. Crazy. Yeah, you had to use. The What's ticket. up with that? I don't know, man. It's like I think it's like they call it a money thing. Are you going to the spring concert? Young gravy? Nah, nah, nah. I don't. I, I'm, I'm what's not. the word? What's the word in the streets? What What have you heard? Uh, uh, do you know a lot of people that are going or no? I know a few people are going, but I am not gonna be one of those people. I was I would have gone to the other one last year, the other concert, but uh, I had COVID at that time. No way. Yeah, and that was the time when I was injured. Two friends. Yes, I was trying. I want to go in there crowd surf, but I got <laughs> injured. I got injured. I had a stress reaction from the steeple chase. How did that happen? So, I do steeple chase. So you know, there's like barriers in the track, right? So you have those barriers, you hop over them. It's not like hurdles. Oh, it's like bigger barriers than hurdles. Yeah, it's bigger than hurdles. It's bigger than hurdles. It's like longer than hurdles, but it's not like hur- it's kind of like you have to hurdle over it. But there's a water pit, and you have to like jump over the water while doing that. And the way it happened is, I kind of like I don't know how to describe. It. It's like kind of like this right here. I go. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I landed like that, and I caught it. Caused to have a stress reaction because next thing you know, I was going for my running. Then all of a sudden, I went limping. 
How long were y'all? Oh, so, so you you finished the race? Oh yeah, I finished the race. I won it. What? <laughs> I didn't feel it. I, didn't, I, I know. I, I, thought, I was not. I, I was not limping. The, the, way, no, the way the way you were you were describing, it, I thought. Oh, and I, you know, happened, and I was down, and I was off of the count, and I was over. But I still finished the race. But man, I wish I had that one back. You're like, nah, I finished it. <laughs> you know, foot, foot was messed up, but I finished it. Oh, I know. I think it was, it was already messed up when I did that, but I didn't feel nothing because he didn't, he didn't show it to be you limping. Were in that, that, that zone. It was, yeah, it was adrenaline. That when the adrenaline was gone, I started limping. That's crazy. I was like, damn. I was like, damn. Okay, my coach is not gonna be happy when he sees that. And how long were y'all for? The whole season. Oh, so was that like the first race? Yep, first hey, race. You ready for it though? You ready I, for it? I wasn't trying. Undefeated. I, I wasn't. I wasn't going all out. Fred, that was even your final form. No, nah, I was. I wasn't going like. Golden so you're freezer. telling me you could win races without even going all out? How no. do you even know what going all out? I mean, how do you even know? Yeah, explain that. I mean, I didn't. I wouldn't say that. I know when I'm gonna go out when I'm going out when I'm feeling pain, but I didn't feel pain in that race because I I could just it felt like I was just jogging it or like. Trying to do like so a mini workout. You, but you were jogging. You well, were dusting people? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's what Damn, I did. So, so you're saying you got that dog in you? I got that dog in me. Crazy. What kind of dog are we talking? What kind of oh, dog? We're talking you? about we're talking about a pit bull. Crazy. Yeah. Dale. <laughs> <laughs> um so back to the spring concert. So mm-hmm. you couldn't go to the spring concert. Yeah. But you're not going to this one either. Uh uh-uh. uh. Are you a fan of Doja Cat? By any chance? I haven't listened to Doja Cat. No? Nah. I haven't fun, had a just fun fact, I don't know if you know this. She was going to be at a spring concert if COVID didn't happen. Oh, that she would have been. I know a couple of years ago, I heard. I know A Boogie was here a couple of years ago. He was here maybe fall of 2018? I think, no, spring of, 20, 20. Spring of eight, 2018, I think. Cause I th- spring I of 18. Oh, yeah, my friend, my spring, friend, spring of 18, friend was yeah. telling me about yep. that. Oh, man. I would have gone to that A Boogie concert. I yeah, you like A Boogie? Of course, man. Mm. Nah. Swerving, bro. Nah. 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 <laughs> yeah, nah. I've talked to uh, to some people on here about A Boogie before. Not the biggest fan. I respect it. I respect anybody that makes it in the music business. It's a rough industry. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a lot. There's lots. Lots of musicians. But yeah, so I bought a ticket to the spring concert. Okay. I might go, just to say I was there and then leave. <laughs> I already spent the money. Respect. I respect you. I respect that. Yeah, but nobody knows any young gravy songs. I don't know any young gravy songs. Nor do I care about young gravy, bro. Yeah. It's like, who is this guy? Yeah. Did you hear about the the Mario Brothers that were fighting on campus? Oh my God! Can I tell you this? I was taking my exam. No. And I saw these motherfuckers coming through there and I saw him like walking around where was past my exam where, where did you see it was him? in it and it was in my science lab and what and what building oh Nicholas Copernicus they were in there and I saw them like walking past I they were thinking about going to my classroom I was like no 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 if they go in my classroom I actually <laughs> while you were taking an exam yeah I was like bro I'm not trying to watch this bro yeah but I heard my friends about it one of them, my teammates I had that happen they went in there because one of them, because the Bowser got RKO. There was a Bowser. Yeah, he I got just thought RKO. There was a Mario and Luigi. I didn't no, even see them. So, no, so, the ba- so real quick before mm-hmm. you you go into detail, anybody that's at Central didn't hear about this, or anybody that's just curious, because of I don't know if it was a Mario movie promo, if it was students mm-hmm. at campus that thought it'd be a funny joke, I don't know, but pretty much there was people dressed in Mario character outfits going around building to building or something, and they were just doing these funny ass brawls and fights. <laughs> And I, I don't know. I didn't see it. I heard it was going on. I saw a picture of them. Apparently, they got arrested. <laughs> they got arrested. Finally, <laughs> they got arrested, which is crazy. But yeah. So what was going Trust on? Me. No, because my teammates had that happen. They were they came in their room, RKO'd the Bowser, That's and then crazy. and then the other guy was saying, "But he's like, yo, go watch the Mario movie. That's why." And apparently oh, they so weren't they weren't students in the campus. They were not students oh, so at all. They were definitely they might have been workers for no not workers. We don't know where they were. But they were trespassing. There must have been actors or something that got paid to promote the Mario movie or something. I don't know. I don't know they were promoters, man. But whatever them. they were, they got they were trespassing. They got and like you said, they got arrested. I didn't know they got arrested. I yeah, thought they, they did. didn't. Promoting my movie. How, how, and how you wonderful. know what the funny part is? Nah. One of my teammates saw them in the bathroom and he was like, Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. I would have said it's a And I saw I, I saw <laughs> that I saw the guy with the Princess Peach album like, oh my god, this this oh, is nah. I'm not I'm i I'm I thought I was living in a simulation right now. Crazy. When I saw that, are you going to see the movie? 
Did, did, did that work? I, 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 want to see, I want to see the movie, but I, I'm not a fan like that. That is, that's taking it to a whole nother level. I can't believe it took this long for them to make a more Mario movie. I mean, have you seen the, the original Mario movie? The original original? Oh, believe me, I've seen it. Are you kidding me? Of course I have. No, that, that the is... The old that, school one? That's, that was disappointing. I'm it sorry. was terrible. I know. But this one, this one I... I feel like this I heard one's for, better. I heard if you're a kid or if you grew up on Mario, you're going to enjoy it. But if you don't, you're going to just watch a movie, you're going to be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 people. I think the thing is... Critics will expect this to be like a god tier movie. That's why they gave me like shit. Critics shit on everything these days. Yeah, man. no, they shit. They were shitting on it for forty eight percent. But then I'm like, bro, leave it to the audience, bro. They grew up watching this shit. Yeah. You didn't. They always shit on Adam Sandler movies, and it, it pisses me off so much. No, they don't give that man his props. Who? Adam Sandler. Do like, you know? Do you know who Adam Sandler? I know who this. He did Hotel Transylvania and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, he also was a he's a baller too. I didn't. Of course not, he is. I did not know he was a bucket. Mm-hmm. And I love how he walks around as if he's not rich. Oh yeah, yeah no, he acts. He walks around just like dresses, he's a bum. Yeah, he just, but it's, it's I, like I love regular it. day, like us. We're like we're not bums, but yeah, regular he just, he dresses oh. casually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you you said RKO yeah. earlier. Are you in the WWE? Eh, but I do. Want my fr- I know a bunch of my teammates and one of my closest friends from Manchester. Uh, Watch WWE. Did they watch WrestleMania? Were they, oh yeah, they were watching. They all talking about it. Oh yeah, Logan Paul versus Seth Rollins. And okay, Chase. so you know, yeah, Logan Paul frog splashed KSI. That was how, that was so funny. I I did not. I saw that clip. I was like, damn. Did you see the Roman Reigns versus Cody match? Cody Rhodes. I did not see that match. You though. didn't see it. No, I did not. It was crazy. No worry. Yeah. I know. I've seen Roman Reigns versus oh, I forgot who that big guy is. Lesnar, not Le- not Brock Lesnar. I mean, I saw that. I saw that. Bobby Black. Lashley, not Bobby Lashley. It was like the guy with the red hit with the red beard hair. I don't know what his name is. I should know this. My friends are so disappointed in me that I can't. Uh, mm, I'm sorry, guys. I can't. I can't think of it. Yeah, it's I'm fine. Sure it's know. fine. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. I told you that I was going to ask you three things. Okay. And what's Do you think you're ready to answer them? I'm gonna I'm gonna remind you. I'm gonna remind you as to what they are. Do you think you're ready? Oh I think I'm ready. Let's go with mm-hmm. an album. An album. That you would have to recommend to our lovely listeners or viewers at home. Wherever you get your podcast. Hmm. I say all over the place by KSI in the U in the UK. For an album? Yeah. Really? I got into you listen UK to the rap. KSI like that? Yeah, I kind of do from time to time. Listening to that UK rap, fam. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that UK rap. I'm like, yo, we need a change. Like, we it's called it's called all over the place. Yeah, all over the place. We cannot be like. I know we, everybody's like used to their American rap or right or stuff like that or Spanish rap. I think we should give them like give, let's give the Eng, let's give no, England some, the love. Let's give England some love. Good UK rappers. Yeah, let's give England love, man. That's what's up. Hey, shout out to the Brits. Mm-hmm. What about? Show or movie or both that you'd have to recommend. Ooh, the Last Kingdom on Netflix is very good. Also, I've heard the good Witcher. things, yeah, yeah, and The Witcher on Netflix. My brother loves The Witcher. Bro, that is he played so the whole hard. video game. Oh, I played the video game too. Yeah, my brother DLCs are all of it. He oh, I played it. the DLCs yeah, too. They're so it's enough. so fun. It's so much fun. Yeah, he's obsessed with games like that. It's so fun, bro. So Witcher and then The Last Kingdom. Oh yeah. What well, is The Last Kingdom about again? It's Just basically. It's kind of like your medieval Vikings going as England, England basically, but also trying to like govern themselves in a way, I guess. Hmm. It takes place like, not like before like 1000 AD, it takes place like 880, like after like after Christ. Word. Yeah. Last but not least, some yep. wonderful words of advice or words of wisdom, whether it's to your future self, whether it's to any friends, family, teammates, whoever is listening or watching. Shout out to you. Appreciate you mm-hmm. if you're still here. Mm-hmm. But what would you have to say to them? Uh, strive to be better. That's the, that's all I gotta say. Like strive to be better. Always, always work hard. Never give up. And always, and one key things I say is your family are first. Your education is second. Third is your athletics, and fourth is work. Say that one more time. Well, family first is one of them. Then you have your academics, mm-hmm. then work, and then school. Hell I mean yeah. sports. Yeah. 
That's like your four. That's like your four key rules. It sounds to me like you have a nice structure around you. Yeah, and like you've got things going well for you. That's yeah. a, that's awesome to hear, man. Yeah, man. I have like a, a loving family, and I love the sport. What I'm doing, also, I work. I work at. Yeah, just I just I work at places, and I. And then I take school seriously. You know, I want to be better and be educated. That's incredible, man. Yeah, man. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you, man. But unfortunately, we're at that time. Mm-hmm. Everyone has a story and it's still being written. My heart goes out to each and every single one of you. I appreciate all of you guys. Ciao for now. Peace. Peace.